Well, Mike, it's an historic evening for everybody in this organization. What are your thoughts now as we're getting closer to first pitch of Game 7? Well, I, you know, I'm trying to take it like we've taken every game since, like, uh, June, is uh, let's go 1-0 tonight. You know, all hands are on deck, and uh, let's, let's, win, let's win a big game for, uh, for the fan base at Washington, D.C. Got to go back to last night just for a minute and what you saw from Steven Strasburg because the Nats, and Steven included, giving up some early offense in this series, but then, I mean, totally shutting the door. You know, you're talking about one of the, you know one of the top pitchers in all of baseball, uh, a guy that we're so proud of, and uh, you know we a guy we drafted, signed, and developed, and watched turn into a superstar before our eyes, and uh, had total control of a really really good team and a really dangerous lineup, and uh, and a guy that uh, on the biggest stage came up bigger than any pitcher we've ever had. Anthony Rendon was Anthony Rendon last night, but five RBIs in a World Series game, that's pretty amazing. Well, he's an amazing player. You know, he's, he's the, the greatest superstar that nobody knows about, except for the people in uh, D.C. and in the clubhouse. And, uh, you know, last night when everyone was losing their minds, uh, you know, Anthony's yawning in the batter's box and hitting a, you know, hitting a huge World Series home run for us. So uh, his, pulse, his pulse runs slow, and uh, he's, not, he, he's not too affected by too many things. Does anything Juan Soto does amaze you anymore? You know, we were talking about it. He's this kid is, uh, you know, the, the brighter the light, the better he likes it. Uh, I, I saw it immediately in his career when we were playing in the Yankee Stadium, uh, and he hit those two home runs in front of about forty-eight thousand people. One to left, one to right center. One to left and one to right center. And I said to myself that day, I said, "This guy enjoys this stuff." Yeah. All right. Can you give us a sense tonight of uh, how Max is doing, how he's feeling, and what your hopes and expectations are for him between those lines? Well, you know, Max is Max is taking the ball, and uh, you know he's he, he's going to go as as hard as he can for as long as he can, and uh, and he's going to give us a great effort like he always does. You know, he's Max Scherzer, so you know he's going to pitch. You know, unless there's a bone coming out somewhere, he's he's going to be on the mound. So uh, he's uh, he feels he felt good uh, when I saw him earlier. He's going to go warm up, and uh, and you know if he's if he's feeling good. He's going he's gonna to give us a solid game for us. Finally, Mike, why the move from Suzuki to Gomes behind the plate? Well, you know, we were talking, we were talking early in the game after, after we made the lineup that, uh, you know, Suzuki with the, with the, tender, uh, the tender hip flexor would, would uh, if he would have started the game and then couldn't and, and could only catch three or four innings, then we would lose a player. And uh, this way we started Gomes, who's been swinging the bat very, very well, uh, and we'll have Suzuki there off the bench, can come and pinch hit and then catch four or five innings if we need him late. Mike, all the best tonight. We hope it turns out well for you and your staff. You guys have worked really hard. Thanks, Bob. Appreciate it.